And now I'm with uh, Chris Sumner from Fanuc, uh, who are in a partnership, I think, with uh, Pacepacker. But you want to tell me, uh, from Fanuc's point of view, about the robotics that are involved here. Yes, uh, Michael, what it is, we've actually looked and explored the requirements for the food industry. Uh, and really, as your speech very adequately explained, the robots are widely used in uh, automotive companies, but the food industry requires certain specific requirements. And really, we have uh, robots that are IP69K rated, which means they can be hosed down with a high pressure hose, which is unique in this market. So for cleanliness, uh, contamination issues, the robots are specifically produced for food. And that's very important when you're going into some of these markets where you're, you're handling complete product. Are we talking about quite a recent technological development there? Yes, we are. Yes. So it's completely sealed, it's purged, so that the concern of contamination is eliminated. And this is where really the robots can actually assist and support the manpower in cleanliness. So there's been a lot of issues, obviously, in the past with flu food cleanliness, and, and this is what FANUC have been working on for many years. So do you think uh, the cleanliness issues have been part of the reason why automation has apparently been held back in food? In a, in a certain area, yes, most certainly. The, the certain area being? Being raw product. Raw product is where people want to look at automating. Um, so with, the, with the, also the sensory equipment that we produce, which is vision, which gives the robot eyes, and the cleanliness issues, then this is now one big step into bringing more, more automation, robot automation, into the food market. Very good. Thanks to you. I feel that I'm looking into the future. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.